Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art, and yes, we're back with another video. Excited to have you join us. Thank you for your new subscriber. We are always happy to have more new subscribers join us, and those of you who've been with us for a while, welcome back again. Appreciate your faithfulness. We have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I've laid out a blue foundation, which is really pretty. It is a combination of the Artist Loft Brilliant Blue, along with the uh, Blit Acrylic Titanium White, mixed with Fultrol and water, and we came up this, with this beautiful color. Now that Brilliant Blue is actually a darker blue, so we just used a little bit of it, and made this light blue. Torch and Air Bubbles, I already done it once, but because I just recently made this paint up, I know there's more air bubbles somewhere in here. We want a flawless foundation as much as possible to begin with, and so it's really important that we check for any debris, any uninvited guests to our party, and we want to begin making for a clean foundation to start with. We have the colors for layering colors, starting with the Grumbacher Academy Prussian Blue. New to me is the Windsor & Newton Pale Violet. Uh, we also have the Artist Loft Metallic Blue, Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, my Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, along with the Liquitex Basics Grenacridon Magenta, our Artist Loft Old Gold, and we may put in some Brillic Acrylic Titanium White so, we want to get a design that has some really rich color in it, but also just giving it an opportunity to have negative space on both sides. So we're going to start with just giving a little bit of a squiggle across there. And I think what I'll try and do is branch out with some extensions here. And let's do here and here. How's that? And we'll just follow through with the other colors as I name them. And we are doing a Dutch pour, 12 by 24 inch canvas, really allowing myself to just use some colors that I haven't put together by way of a new combination or palette. Everything's new to me. You get to see it for the first time too. I love the element of surprise, especially when it's a great, great surprise. Exceeding expectation type of surprise. I just love that. Got quite a few dark colors in here, so I will put in a little bit of white at this point. Okay. And we'll continue on with the rest of our layering colors. We left off with the permanent blue violet, so let's do our cadmium yellow, deep U. You have to watch your color combinations because you don't want to get muddy by using too many dark colors next to each other. And I tend to try to put in at least one metallic color um, in my composition. Sometimes there's more than one, but at least one. Okay, so here we have a combination of, of Let's see, two, five, eight colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. I'm going to wrap back around with our Prussian blue. A little heavy handed over here on that blue. All right, we're going to move our friends aside and take our torch and pop air bubbles in our layering colors. Again, we're just looking to pop air bubbles anywhere we see them, especially when you have just recently um, mixed your paints, as I did with several of these colors. Okay, 
Now, I want to see some negative space on each of my sides, so I have to work at trying to accomplish that. However, um, that is not a requirement, that's simply a, a preference. So, you don't like negative space, by all means, there's nothing wrong with that. I believe I'm going to try... Um, I really want to try to do something a little different. Maybe starting on these, this end here and going out, coming back to the middle and going out this way. Let's see what happens. Wow, 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 very pretty, very, very pretty. I am really liking the color combination we have here. If I did anything to this, it would be maybe to blow this out a little bit more, but I don't have to, so I'm not sure I want to at this moment. We'll give it a second or two, it's kind of get a feel for what we have here. The color combination here is just beautiful. You can see all the rich colors that we put in and they really are speaking loud and clear for themselves. You have to not overthink it and also know when to stop because you can add to it sometimes. It makes for a really good modification, other times you can overdo it. I am going to torch this because I see a few air bubbles, but not a lot of torching. Really doesn't require it. There's cells that are going up all over this design beautifully, and I'm really, really liking how they have come out. Really, really liking it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's bring you in for a close-up. All right, my friends, we are here with our close-up. Look at these cells. They are absolutely unbelievable. So pretty. That's the metallic blue and the Prussian blue together. And here's all this rich color from all the other colors that have really combined nicely. And they really are speaking loud and clear for themselves. Isn't that beautiful? We have lacing, we've got cells. We also have one studio light on, so you'll see a little glare. We just want to make certain that you can see all this rich color coming together. With all of the colors we use, you can tell they are here Look at the nice shimmer and shine from that old gold and the metallic blue. Really showing up beautifully. I love that cadmium deep yellow hue. All of these colors, look at those rich cells with the artist off old gold, the Prussian blue, the, oh, that really Windsor blue, uh, Windsor pale violet. It's showing up as well, very nicely in this design. Wow, 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 look at this. Sparkling and all that shimmer and shine on top. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. That's one way of getting able, uh, being able to be notified each and every time we have a new video, which is every week, so look for us every week. Okay, here we have it, our final the 12 by 24 inch 
design. And again, I hope you like it. Sorry for the glare, but this is our Dutch pour using, I believe it was eight colors. Until next time, keep loving your art and we'll see you on our next video upload. Bye now.